trade your car for the opportunity to live in paradise? For Las Catalinas, Costa Rica, many wood. Walkable, tropical, and it looks like something out of Renaissance Italy. Surrounded by a virgin wilderness on a beach in beautiful Guanacaste, Las Catalinas, Costa Rica is a meticulously planned masterpiece you won't want to miss out on. Welcome to Via Travelers. Today, we're going to take a look at the beautifully planned city of Las Catalinas, planned in 2006 by Charles Brewer. Atlanta-based entrepreneur purchased 1,200 acres of land along the Pacific Ocean in Guanacaste Province, Costa Rica, dreaming of creating a walkable, car-free resort town. We'll be looking at the contemporary gem that it has become and how it became a positive driver for nature in the years since. Hey, this is Kyle. Make sure you subscribe to the Via Travelers YouTube channel for more travel videos and incredible adventures just like this. And turn on post notifications. You never miss out on a single video. With that, let's get into it. This is not just another meticulously planned housing development, but a town in its own right. There are car-free streets, 180 residents, two hotels, shops, restaurants, plazas, offices, fountains, and recreational facilities. However, all of it was centrally planned with a vision in mind. The town is named the Catalinas Islands or Islas Santa Catalina, one of Costa Rica's best scuba diving spots. They're located just a 20 to 30 minute boat ride away from the Guanacaste coast, with most dive boats departing out of Playa del Coca, Flamingo or Tamarindo. They consist of a series of uninhabited islands and islets where divers can spot several different types of sharks, rays, dolphins, and whales that come through from time to time. Around 1,000 acres of lush, tropical dry forest around the beautiful town of Las Catalinas. With the Playa de Tana and the Pacific Ocean beckoning on the other side, Playa Santa the Pier is a lovely beach with tons of shade. Like all beaches in Costa Rica, it's open to the public. Just a short hike away, you'll find another excellent beach called Playa Danita. Either one of these locations has excellent opportunities for swimming, boogie boarding, paddle boarding, kayaking, and snorkeling alike. Not a fan of the water. The steep topography allows for amazing views from just about anywhere. These combine to make the town a famous biking, hiking location for a well-seasoned adventurers looking for breathtaking sights. Have you ever taken a vacation somewhere like this? Tropical paradise exists all over the world. Well, this is an incredible one-of-a-kind town with a laid-back resort mindset. We'd love to hear if you've been anywhere quite like it. Would you go if you could? Let us know in the comments section below. Las Catalinas, this concept is based on the idea of new urbanism, which seeks to eliminate low-density, sprawling developments in favor of more intimate walkable spaces. This design focuses on neighborhoods that just a five minute walk from the center of the edges. The idea is to build spaces to live, work, and play, where you don't need a car just to run to the store. Planners were inspired by hilly Mediterranean towns in France, Italy, and Latin American influencers in Mexico, Panama, and Guatemala, with touches of resort towns of Carmel, the Arts, and Aspen. While some of those were designed originally for defense, Las Catalinas was built for pleasure, geared toward open spaces and outdoor living. To get to Las Catalinas, you have to take your way to the northern end of a paved road connecting to Portrero, Flamingo, Rosalito, and other points, including the surf capital of Tamarindo. The most intriguing and exciting part of this is the fact that Las Catalinas is completely car free. While you may have to drive to get there, you must store the vehicle first before entering. It reportedly took a long time to convince people of the benefits of walkability. In its concept stage, some had difficulty dealing with the perceived loss of convenience and how it could be balanced with the joy of car-free streets. There's a nearby monkey trail, which is paved with a creek crossing and it connects to Playa del Coco in the north. Despite all these shared connections, Las Catalinas is not on the way to anything else. Located at the end of the road, there's no through traffic to worry about. You have to take a taxi, shuttle, or rental car to get to Las Catalinas. But once you're there, the town is uniquely built with walking in mind. Everything will be within your grasp. What would be the most exciting thing for you in a place like this? 
Are you the adventurous hiking type who would look forward to the trails? Or are you the water sports type looking to catch some sun on the beautiful Pacific coast? Let us know in that comment section below. Now, if you made it this far in the video, make sure you leave a like as well. Let us know that you enjoyed this video and watch for more looks into this gorgeous resort. The walkable streets feature paving stones and stairs and are broken up by fountains and attractive courtyards. Residents report being happier, healthier, and enjoying taking more walks with their loved ones. Once people adopted the lifestyle, they felt freer and construction volume grew to nearly 80,000 square feet per year. Once they realized the benefits this sort of lifestyle could bring them. Families are often drawn to Las Catalinas because it's safer for kids to run free and has easy access to quality healthcare and schools. While it's open to the public, it's got stellar security and is one of the most exclusive communities in all of Costa Rica. The homes throughout are primarily standalone, no cookie cutter designs, condos, or townhomes. Las Catalinas homeowners can live here year round or generate income through the booming vacation rental market. But for those looking to visit, there are two spectacular hotels with 67 rooms available. First is the Cliffside Casa, with stunning villas and ocean views, as well as private plunge pools for guests. Then the Santa Rina Hotel in the part of town, and it's described as a bohemian pearl or an elegant oasis for cosmopolitan minds and curious spirits alike. The stunning little town of Las Catalinas is a concept that baffles some and enchants others. It's built with community in mind, as well as the quality of life of its residents. The long-term goals include establishing the plaza as a small business hub and hoping to expand and balance the full and part-time residents. They hope to entice professionals from all across Costa Rica to the small community and develop more residential and commercial spaces to accommodate them. While you may not find anywhere in Costa Rica quite like it, it's one of a kind in the world too. Do you have any thoughts on the community? Anywhere you'd like to visit in particular? How about would you live somewhere car free like this? Let us know in the comments section below. That's going to be all for today. If you want to see other videos just like this, then leave a like and make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on. We can keep bringing you our amazing travel vlogs and incredible videos like this one today. This has been Via Travelers and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.